What's going on friends? It's your girl Asia Leah and welcome back to the VIP section. If you're new here, hey, there's always room for you here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to tap into my love for Apple and just technology as a whole. I'm showing you guys a little bit of my nerd uh, vibes. Don't judge me. Recently Apple dropped iOS 14 and even more recently they dropped 14.1 which features of course bug fixes as all updates come with. Furthermore, as I was scrolling on social media when the drop first happened, I went down the rabbit hole of all these people who were able to create these very, very dope, aesthetically pleasing home screens. It looked a lot more customizable than us Apple users are used to, but still featured some of the cool elements, the simple elements that Apple has to offer. So we're still keeping the same vibes there, um, but yeah, just more customizable. If you want your home screen to look something like this, then keep watching. Before we get started, I'll need you all to complete a few tasks um, to get it out the way to make this video a little bit easier to follow. Make sure your phone is updated. I waited to post this today because like I said, that recent update came out. So make sure your phone is updated. If you have a lot of junk on your phone, delete a few things, girl, boy, uh, delete those pictures, little messages, music, whatever you can if you do not have enough space to get the um, upgrade because it is a little space consuming. Um, just do whatever you have to do to get the upgrade. Secondly, you'll need to download the app uh, that's very important in this process called Widget Smith, which is right here if you guys need to see what that looks like. Besides that, iOS 14 allows you to hide your app pages, um, sorts them into an app library. Be sure to clear out your home screen completely. Do not delete your apps, just hide them move all of your apps over to the next page of your home screen. They'll be needed to create uh, your icons later, as you can see pictured here, um, what I have going on currently. Lastly, really think about how you want your home screen to look. Uh, right now, mine is very dreamy, girly, and pink, which is a vibe, but now I'm changing it up for this video and for my own satisfaction. We're going to go with like a nude, neutral, champagne mommy type of vibe. Uh, very Yeezy inspired aesthetic uh, with different nudes and stuff like that. So I encourage everyone to Google photos that go along with their aesthetic. I use Pinterest. You're um, more likely to find the kind of pictures that I'm going to show you that you're looking for for all of your icon images as well as a possible backdrop to your home screen. All of them need to be the same type of mood and feel as you can see right here in my photo gallery. And you can even have icons or photos that describe the actual app itself. As you can see below my dock, I have a phone icon, an iMessage icon, a Safari icon, and a camera icon that I customized and colored on Photoshop. I'm sure there's other uh, software you can use out there to do something similar or you can probably find them on Google as well. After that, you pretty much have all the tools you need to change up your home screen um, featuring iOS 14. So that being said, let's get into it. Alright, I'm just going to show you guys a recording of my screen so we can get through this here. So as I said, I asked you to download the app Widgetsmith. This is the app that's going to allow you to put, you know, the larger looking application icons on your screen, but customize them to be whatever colors you want, as well as what you want the actual widget to do. So that being said, this right here is Widgetsmith. I'm just going to open it because I already have it downloaded and it already shows the widgets that I've created. Starts off by the small widgets, then it goes to the medium and the large, which I was playing with, but don't actually have those yet. Um, I kept it mainly to the medium and the small widgets. So that being said, I have one called um, I have one called quotes, two default quotes here, and this is really cool. Like you can set your quotes up to be featured in a certain time. So every about six hours or so, I have a different quote showing which is really cool. I have my step calculator on there as well, as well as the time. So I'm actually just gonna keep the same widgets that I had before. I'm just gonna change up the color. So here's my step one. I'm gonna click on that. We're going to do 
step count. As you can see right here, you're gonna click font. I'm going with New York still. I really like the way that that looks. It's classy or whatever. Um, tint color is now gonna change. I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna keep the white actually. Sorry, my bad. I'm gonna keep the white, but the background color is what's gonna change. I'm gonna go with the cream, because like I said, we're going for a nude vibe. And I could also do the brown, which I may turn around and do. And I'm gonna keep the border color as white. Again, I'm just changing up what I already have here. As you can see, once you do that, the steps widgets did change. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing for all of my widgets, changing them to cream. Of course, if you were new to the widget smith, you would just create, it would say add small widget and you could go ahead and do that. But like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and switch up the colors as I'm keeping the total, um, the way it's set up the same. Same thing for the medium widget. Right, so I just have to go back to see if it changed. Some of it did, but this didn't for some reason. So we're gonna go back and make sure that it's changed as well. You see I have that time lapse thing going, so you have to literally go into each one and change it up like that, like this, like so. Alright, we're going to hit save in the corner. If it gives you an option to save, always save, y'all. So as you can see now, they were pink, now they were just for that cream color. Um, going to my photos here. So I can show you guys what I got going as far as my aesthetic. So as I said, I'm gonna do a nude vibe. I was really feeling this background right here for my backdrop. So I'm gonna click right there and make this my background. Use this wallpaper on my home screen because I have like, I like to put a picture on my lock screen. So that's good like that. So we see that change. I'm liking the way it looks already. It's really not much of a change from the nude to the pink, but you get the idea. So how you change your icons to feature pictures instead is you use the Shortcuts app. Um, as you can see here, I have different apps on my home screen, press the music, it goes to shortcuts, and then it goes to the app that you selected. I know that's cumbersome and bothersome for some people, but I don't mind it. All to get the aesthetic look, I'm completely fine with it taking that extra step. It's not anything that you have to do, it just naturally goes there, so it doesn't really bother me that much. Okay, so as you can see, I have all of my shortcuts here already. I'm actually going to delete them all just so we can start fresh here. And now that they're all deleted, I'm going to go plus, add action, we're going to press scripting. We want it to open the app, then we're going to press choose. Um, I'm going to do Instagram first. And you're going to click on that next button, and you're going to do the shortcut name. I'm just going to choose to do all lowercase letters here. Then you're gonna click on the little icon next to what you just typed out. You could do glyphs and you can change the color to feature whatever you need it to. Um, that's another way you can change up your icons if you don't have Photoshop to create them. But I want to add a picture. So I'm just gonna press done. Okay, so now that it's done, I'm gonna just add to home screen. And then on the icon, you can press choose photo. That's how I changed up my icons. So, I have a whole bunch of aesthetically pleasing pictures within my color bracket. And for Instagram, I'm gonna choose this mirror. That kind of gives off Instagram vanity vibes. And press add. You can size up. Let me go back to show you guys. You can size up exactly how you want the picture to look within that square, or you need to make sure all of your pictures are actually squares. So I like it right about there. I'm going to press choose and add. 
Now that should have added to your home screen. I'm just gonna show you guys, press done, and it's right there. I deleted all those old shortcuts, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit my home screen here and make sure I delete all of these applications that were assigned to my pink design that I had before. All right, so I'm gonna take the new Instagram icon, put it on that front page, and while we're on this topic, I'm going to show you guys how to hide your um, second page because as you can see this one looks a little jumbled up. I just don't like the way it looks so I'm going to again hold down one of those, edit home screen and press these three dots here at the bottom and you can do edit pages. So I'm just going to uncheck my second page so it would only be the first page and what's really cool about this is once you do that you slide over to the app library which is awesome because it puts all the apps in certain brackets depending on what kind of apps there are so like games entertainment social and that way you don't have like that ugly second page with all your groups in there but back to rearranging your home screen you can just move around the apps how you like it there's my first one with my new aesthetic instagram and you just do the same thing for all of your shortcuts over and over. Show you guys one more time. Again, go to the shortcuts app, press the little plus sign in the corner, add action, scripting, open app, choose which app you want to open. I'm gonna say Facebook next, give it a name. Again, all lowercase to match my theme. Press done. Add to home screen. Choose photo. Who do I want to use for Facebook? Really like this cloud picture. And choose that and add. Done. Done. And that's going to pop up on the second page here. Edit home screen and just move it over. And you're just going to do that for every single app that you want on your home page. Alright everybody, that about sums it up for this video. Here is my final product. It looks really cool. If you guys have any questions at all, you can feel free to comment them below or hit me up on social media. If you guys want me to make an additional video, let me know down below as well for all the updates or anything else that you might be looking for when it comes to this update. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!